Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials and today I'm starting a brand new series on Express.js. This is a full tutorial series which means I will cover everything from basic to advanced to help you set up, learn, master and implement Express.js in your applications. Today is a part one of the series and today we'll learn an overview and an introduction to Express.js. So what exactly is Express.js? Express.js is a minimal and flexible Node.js web application framework that helps us in providing a robust set of features for web and mobile applications. It helps us in building our middleware layer or APIs that we commonly know and call them. It's an open source framework developed and maintained by the Node.js Foundation. Express.js is a web application framework that provides you with a simple middleware APIs to build websites, web apps, and backend. With Express.js, you don't have to worry about the low-level protocols, processes, etc. If you are coming from Node.js background, you would know that you have to create an instance of HTTP and then create your own server and provide port number. All of that is taken care under the hood by Express. So Express allows us to build our applications, the backend and the APIs faster without worrying about the low level protocols and the processes. It's flexible as there are number of, there are numerous modules available on NPM which can directly be plugged into Express. So we can basically use, uh, since Express.js is another JavaScript uh, framework, which means we can use the existing NPM packages and modules with Express whichever we need which makes it really powerful because we can customize whichever packages we want and get our work done. Like I said, Express.js is open source and is maintained by Node.js Foundation, which means it's reliable, it's here for long run. All right, so that being said, um, the overview is that if you talk about mean stack, M-E-A-N, uh, so the E stands for Express in that, right? MongoDB, MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node, right? So Express.js is extremely important when you talk about mean or MERN stacks. It helps us in building a solid middleware API layer that we'll, we are going to learn, we are going to build here from scratch in our application series. All right, so the next question comes, why do we have to choose or learn Express.js, right? <coughs> so we use Express.js because it's easy, it's robust, and it's a quick, quick way to set up our backend APIs. So if you are someone who wants to set up your backend APIs, always has a struggle, using Express, you can quickly set it up and it's in no time, right? So it's easy, it's robust, it's uh, solid, it's been used across in large applications um, and they're quite reliable as well. All batteries included. So whenever you talk about say routing, say HTTP request, response processing, all of that is included in Express. So we don't have to really worry if you really want to build some kind of a backend API, everything that you need to build is available in Express.js. Express.js is unopinionated, uh, which is very, very important because most of the frameworks like Ruby on Rails or some other uh, will enforce you a certain type of uh, folder structure, will force you to write code in certain way. Whereas Express.js does not come with any strings. It's open strings, which means you do what suits you best, right? So that becomes your standard. You don't have to follow what others are doing or there is no set standard. That's why it makes it very, very powerful and adaptability. It's very flexible and pluggable, which means we can include any modules inside our Express.js and we can easily work around and integrate them. That's an, yet another very powerful feature, I would say. All right, so that being said, I have introduced you to Express.js. In the next episode, we will start with our installation in our local, and we will complete this journey of building our beautiful APIs. I hope I welcome you to this journey in this particular series, and I sincerely hope that you will find this series helpful, useful to you, and will help you become a better developer. Thank you so much. As always, if you have uh, questions, if you have any queries, drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.